ye of little faith. Good evening, everybody. Happy Friday to the fish room, or words to that effect. I hope you're all well. Everyone's saying I was going to be late. I've been here for seconds. Loads of time. It says 21.00 on my clock, so I think I'm on time. Hope you're well. Hope everyone's okay. Um, welcome to Fishy Fr That's not what it's called. Welcome to Fishy Business. No. Yes. Um, I might have to change the name of that, because it doesn't make any sense. Hope you can see me. Hope you can hear me. I can see we've got Brian thinking I'm going to be late, but no, I'm on time. I didn't even try an upgrade in a... Uh, shall we try and see the GoPro? Hey! The GoPro is working. For now. And not just, not stuttering and juttering. Woohoo! That deserves a round of applause, I think. Um, there's usually noises by now. I'm here at least. Um, I did have a little bit of a problem where I couldn't find my keys, so I was a bit locked out of the garage, so I couldn't get in. But we're here now. We've got an evening of entertainment lined up for you. Um, he says the usual stuff. We'll have a quiz and then some random nonsense chat and talk about a few things and see how we get on. Uh, no, oil, no water leaks. You join all flustered to mess up the title. I got, yeah, you got that bit right. Uh, evening from a chilly but dry Wolverhampton, says Stuart. I'm thinking of trying a new thing. Let me see if this makes any sense. Oh, that's... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Why is that so small? Hmm, something's happened. Might have to play with this. Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. Oh, nothing ever works. Anyway, my plan was that I'd have a little map like this, and we could put a pin in for everybody, wherever you are in the world, and then over time we could see where all our viewers come from. So, for instance, um, how do I add something? <laughs> add a place. Wolverhampton. Stick a pin in Wolverhampton. There we go. We've got another pin. So, you never know. Let me know where you're from. And we'll see if we can build this up. And if I can get the bloody view to work properly. You never know. You might be able to see it as well. Big face. Um, so yeah, let me know where you are. I mean, I don't want your street address, but if there's like 10 people from London, I can only add one pin for London, so I need some kind of specificity, is that a word? So I know we have a few from Texas, for instance, so pick a town in Texas that's near you and we'll go with that one. Audio, video, all good. That's what we like to hear. Uh, dry for Brian, but bloody freeze. It's been a lovely day here in Sheffield. The sun's been out. Every time I looked at the news, they've been warning me of impending doom and freezing cold temperatures. It's lovely here. Um, can't complain, but I'm sure it'll all go wrong tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> juggler wins, yes, sorry. Alright, I was a wee bit late. Haircuts, it's just a day I have indeed. That's the thing that I was doing that was going to make me late for tonight. Decided to lower the ears. Um, so I can check now and see if I've missed any bits. Shall I do a quick spin for you? Usually there's like a tuft at the back that I can't see. Good evening from Bolton. Let's add Bolton in. Bing, Bolton is added. Uh, nice work on the stream last night. Yes, thank you very much. I enjoyed that. So, if you don't know, I was on as a guest on uh, Cam's live stream. Where it was Cam and John. I've immediately forgotten the name of the stream. It's confusing. I remember that much. It was like the Friday night. Friday Fanatics 
coffee chat and it was on Thursday night. I, I very much very close to missing that, but I did it. Got there in time. Yeah, enjoyed that. Um, it's strange doing a stream and not drinking beer. Talking of which. We have a beer. We all have gone all out of focus here. Um, I'm exclusively drinking Luminous Nights from Lidl because that was the only shop that I went to today. So 7.4, I'm sure there's a lend in tears. But we'll crack one over. I, I also wanted to mention we had a bit of bad news in the fish farm this week um, where we lost one of our own, someone who had been in my stream but was more prominent across everyone's stream. I think that's what he was known for. Known to me as Murder Doodle, um, Rudel Singh, uh, him sadly passed away last week. So I didn't want to let it go without mention, but I also didn't want to pretend to be some kind of big emotional thing that I could say about him. I didn't know him very well, but I know a lot of you did and were very close to him. What I did know of him was he was a hugely funny guy, um, had a great sense of humour. I was looking back through some of my streams where he was in and it just made me smile. So it's hugely sad, but I think I'd like to dedicate this beer to him, uh, the stream to him, and I think it would serve him well if we tried to have a good time. I think if, if it was me and I was up there looking down on you lot, I wouldn't want you to be miserable, I'd want you to be happy. So I'm going to try and remain as jovial as possible during a situation where it's almost impossible to be jovial. But I think that's probably how we can serve him best at the moment. So I would just like to raise a glass to him, to Murder Doodle. Really sorry to not have you here. Um, especially someone so young. He was quite a young lad. There are no words that can make this better for anyone who is suffering from this. So if you have that particular loved one or any loved one that you're missing tonight, raise a glass to them and we'll give them a cheers. So, to Murder Doodle. There is an online um, remembrance, condolence thing where you can leave a message and hundreds of people have, so hopefully if one of the mods can drop that in if you've got it handy and you did know him, go and leave a little message and leave your leave your thoughts um, I think it would make his family a lot happier knowing that he was widely respected, loved <sighs> it's hard to move on from this but let's try um, Silver Creek's here thank you Tommy Sir Graham the DIY professor really why am I getting that moniker <laughs> I'm definitely not the DIY professor I'm the DIY idiot if anything uh, collaboration of curiosities, Adele. Good to see you. I'm trying to remember names and everything now. Check me out being a professional streamer. First class fish. Hello there. Peter. Peter. Oh, we've got another one. Hang on. We've got a location that I need to add. Um, Wodonga, Australia. That's a made up name. It's not. It's real. <laughs> Added. And I now know that Wodonga's down south. There you go. You'll be that one pin on the other side. Well, it's clearly not. Uh, when is UK Daylight Saving Time? Uh, look forward to being back to... Is it not this weekend? I think it might be. Sunday? Something like that? Uh, Stevie P, nice to see you in here. Uh, Bolton, Massachusetts. No, that's not what that says. It says Boston, Massachusetts. There's a song about it and everything. Uh, let's go with Boston. Boston MA. I'm assuming that's what that means. Okay, I need that. Greetings from a dry, windy Edinburgh, says Ross. Well, it's sad Edinburgh. Or for my American friends, Edinburgh. Get that added. Um, mm, 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 Lanx Fishkeeper says I'd like to say Lanx but I'm probably nearer to Chorley we can add Chorley 
I might do this over time rather than spending the entire two hours typing in names of places. But I thought it'd be a fun thing to see where everybody was visually. Zen's in Houston. So what have we got planned for you tonight? Tonight we've got the quiz, which we'll try and do at half past. Whether we do two quizzes tonight remains to be seen because it didn't go well last week. I have tried to... Oh no, I've just seen that. I've missed a spot. I hope you're taking the piss and I haven't actually missed a spot. <laughs> um, I've tried to double check my work. Um, again, the offer for anyone who wants to help out with April's quizzes is still open. Although I have found myself having discussions with people about all kinds of things. Um, and I think I'm just a terrible person. Not a terrible person like that. A terrible control freak. Like, uh, people... I've tried editors in the past, and I find it's more work to have someone else edit my videos than it is for me to edit them. Um, and I, I just don't like handing over control because I don't like going, no, I don't like that, because if someone's going to do some work for me, I'm like, yeah, yeah, well done, I like it. So we'll see how we, how that plays out. Um, not far from Shady Grady, I'm about five miles from Plymouth Rock, says Adam. As in Plymouth in the UK? Or Plymouth... I'm not going to add that because I can't remember if you're from the UK or t'other Plymouth. So we'll we'll do that when you clarify. Everything will go okay tomorrow on the proper quiz. Yes, if you are new here and you're enjoying this kind of thing and you like a wee bit of a fishy quiz, Andrew, who's Aquarium Daily, does a quiz on his channel on a Saturday. And it is good. I, I can't lie. It's probably better than mine. <laughs> Uh, in terms of the software, but I just refuse to shell out the money it would take to use the same software. So maybe one day when I'm a famous person, I'll do that. Um, but if you're interested, pop along to Andrew's stream. Uh, usually a Saturday night is it about, I want to say, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Can't quite remember. Feel free to drop a link in. Um, as Scott says, a bit of admin. The only thing you have to do to attend is give us a wee like or share a video, or any any of those good things. Just say hello, even. That's all you need to say. Can't remember the name of my own stream, never mind someone else's. Very true. It's, I do have a... I think Fishy Business is a great name for a podcast. If I was to get, like... We were talking about this yesterday, how... It, I enjoyed that. I like the idea of having more than one person. Right now, Friday Night Streams, it's more about me sitting here blathering with you a lot. It's more like a little trip to the pub where some like-minded geeks hang out together, not necessarily purely talking fish, but it does crop up every now and again. We are a fishy channel. And just having a bit of fun, letting our hair down, <laughs> and relaxing calling an end to the week, so I think if I try to turn this into having guests on um, it might not work quite the same, but I would like to, ha I like the format, so I like the format of having uh, the two guys there having a bit of a chat about fishy things, and that was one thing I noticed that whereas I was going off on tangents answering questions, it was very much right, next question, here we are, we'll talk about that, and I was like, oh yeah, that's what we're meant to be doing, sorry so I think that fits better in a different thing. So if I can get my earth in gear, as they say, and maybe line up some guests and talk about all things fish. So I'm not interested in just having other fishy YouTubers on, although I would like that. The idea kind of swirling around in the very back of my brain is that it might be having some hobbyists on, talking about what they like, having some fish shop owners or fish shop workers or people who work in the trade in other areas, um, like in the suppliers and from companies like Fluval or whatever. Um, I have no idea where any of these people would ever say yes, but a whole range of people who are involved in our hobby to talk about what's important to them, what they like, what they don't like, and 
hopefully a little bit of light-hearted fun as well and just hear some stories and what goes on with all these people so not just like a slapping each other on the back at how great we are at doing YouTube videos all the time something that might actually be interesting to some people I don't know and but keeping it away from this so it might be like a Sunday night stream or an other stream or it might just be edited podcasts where I go and visit people and we sit together and have a chat and I record it and load it up as a longer form video podcasty type thing where I can edit out all the awkward silences and pauses and things like that. Um, so that that's kind of what's rattling around in my brain at the moment. I don't know if I've got the balls to carry it out because I very much... If you saw last night's stream... As much as I like to think of myself as a very confident person, and I probably am overconfident in most situations, I, I really don't like talking to people. <laughs> I don't like asking people to do things. Um, but I just have to go over that, I suppose. That's the only way I can look at that. It's one of those things that's just... My wife says it all the time. I don't like phoning up shops and asking if they've got something in stock. I'd much rather make the effort to go there, have a look for myself, not be able to find it and drive home again rather than phone them up and say, have you got J.R.R. Hartley's fly fishing in stock? Anyway, so that's one thing we might talk about later. Um, the quiz we're going to try and do in about ten minutes or so. Um, uh, my chat is working, but I've missed it because I'm too slow. Um, so I'll, I'll try and catch up. Uh, Nabokov's in... I can't remember my name. I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah. I didn't add your location. Oh, I forgot what it is. Um, what is your location? It's Australia. I know that much. Uh, jugglers claiming the whole of Northumberland. I'm pretty sure we can do that. Uh, add the place. Northumberland. There you go. Northumberland done. Cleveland, Ohio for first class fish. Should I be putting in people's names at the same time so we know who they are? No, that's that's like a data privacy thing. Cleveland, not Cleveland in the UK. Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, Wodonga's not far from Sydney. Yeah, it's a real place and everything now. Uh, BSD starts last Sunday in March, which is this Sunday or is it next Sunday? It's next Sunday. I'm in the, oh, there was me thinking this was the end of the quizzes as well. I was about to tot up the totals, but we've got another quiz to go next week. Ah. Uh, got quite, quite far behind. Let's see if we can't catch up. Joe is from Evesham Township, NJ, which I believe stands for New Jersey. E V E S H A M. U.S. of A. Um, Brian's from Guidepost. Let's get Guidepost in there because that's a strange place. Not just because Brian comes from there, but it's a strange name for a place. Guidepost Choppington. Is that the place? Have I done wrong? Oh, we've got a few already. Um, it should work as long as we aren't quizzing at 10. Very true, but it didn't work last time. Uh, USA Plymouth for Adam, just like where the pilgrims go. P-L-Y-M-O-U-T-H. There we go. Added Roy's from Lanark. I know where Lanark is. Okay. I wonder if I can share this map. Does anybody know how to work Google Maps? Could I just share it and you can add yourselves rather than watching me being unable to? Uh, Simon lives in Scratch Arseware, <laughs> Burbeck, Dorset. I have a feeling you're missing with me. Um, did you see the news sent to you via DM? It might save the whole damn world. Oh, about the corals. I did see that and then immediately forgot about it. I told you, my brain doesn't work very well. There you go, there's the Aquarium Daily Channel for anyone interested in 
doing a bit more quizzing tomorrow. And if you are planning on stopping by, drop them a subscribe. It's free. And as Mandy is saying, it's only four subs from 500. Um, DBL Ethan. DBL Ethan, I'm going to go with. I've been wondering how to keep angelfish in groups. I wasn't under the impression that was a difficult thing to do. I know that angelfish can be twats sometimes, but generally buy a group of them and keep them together. Or am I missing something? <laughs> Due to the Six Nations results, I've decided to identify as Irish, says Tim. Um, but to know, I know you're not. So you might be the first Welshman. Carmar then. Yep, first one in Wales. <laughs> Funny English names are a great crack. Yes, there are. There's a sloppy bottom not far from me. That's not me. Um, oh, we've got the old classic hands from Sweden. Where in Sweden hands? I want to put in, if you've missed it. Um, I'm not giving you the entire. Well, shall we give you the entirety of Sweden? Let's give Hans the entirety of entirety of Sweden. There you go. Hans has Sweden. I was the perfect guest. Well, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. So go and watch that as well. If anyone's got a link for that, stick that in there. Oh, chat is going everywhere. And uh, I saw something about Kingsland. Right, I will stop doing this at some point. Lit. Cannot spell L Y. There we go. So maybe st stick them up a bit later on. Right. Okay. Lots of vertical standing driftwood and stem plants. Is this for keeping groups of angels? It is. I should have read the next message. Yeah, that's it. Oh, right, okay. So, to minimise aggression, and this works for discus as well, so I don't see why it wouldn't translate across to angels. Lots of line of sight breaks. So, the reason that I like to promote larger groups of things is because there's always a bit of aggression. There's picking orders trying to be established. So, giving fish an out where if they're getting a bit bullied it's a good thing. So having a, a bigger number of them so it spreads out a bit more and then giving those fish somewhere to go to get away from the aggression also helps. Um, mm, 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 I hope all the pins are different colours. They are all red. Put me down for North Shields, okay. You're in. Mystery Snail Guardians, hello. <laughs> I'm a bit slow this morning, but of course we don't get as real. <laughs> it's near, hmm, some of them are made up, surely. Southampton for boss, okay. Get a couple more in before we kick off with the quiz. I'm also in not insignificant pain. My back's doing my head in at the moment. Um, Fish Tropic Canada, I wonder where they're from. You can have the entirety of Canada. <laughs> One of us must be from. Oh, this is. It's easier to say Latin than it is to say. I can only say the end. Go, go, go. <laughs> My epistles have plenty of room and hideouts, but they insist on hanging out together and fighting, so it's time to separate them. Yeah. And that's what I meant about angels can just be twats sometimes. That, that no matter what you do, 
you can end up just having one that's decides to, they call it going rogue, or they used to call it going rogue, where it, it takes on a murderous uh, slant and just says, Dad, you know what, I'm not sharing this tank. Anything that comes anywhere near me, I'm going to have it. All real, that can't be true. Yakandana, Tangambalanga, that's not, uh, surely not. What's the map for? Fun. That's all, really. Um, let me switch modes. In fact, I might do this while the quiz is on. Quiz. In fact, I have to do it because you won't be able to see anything on the quiz. All right? Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You can do this, Graham. You have the technical capability to do this. Let's go. This is where I turn the stream off. Let's go studio mode, and we'll go to desktop. And then, ah, I found a problem. See, I knew I had the power to do it. This is me lining things up, that's why I haven't been quiet enough. I usually stick my tongue out. Right up So this is what the map's for. I thought I would try and create a little bit of a live map of where are all my viewers from. So over time, if we keep adding to this, we can get to a point hopefully where we're like, right, we've got no Romanians. So I can buy some YouTube ads for Romania to see if we can get some Romanians in to watch us <laughs> and then go for world domination. Why not? I know, a bit of fun, that's all. I just thought it might be fun to be able to see where people are from and what was going on. Oh, no, no, still here. But, we'll leave that for the moment. Is everyone ready for a bit of a quiz? We're two minutes away. We're on stream number 154. So I'll pick that one. It's not quite fit, does it? There we go, that's pretty much. I'm gonna go for host it. No, 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 no. Wrong button. 154 host. Classic host. Random question order. Remember, if Rebecca's here, you're not allowed to pick the fish, but I haven't seen her yet, so you might be all right. You can get in quick. Other rules are it's fastest finger first, you get points for answering the questions correctly, and the faster you answer them correctly, the more points you get. The correct answer is what I think the correct answer, rather than what Google says the correct answer is, so there will be no spitting out of dummies like what I do when I'm on Andrew's quiz when we get the questions wrong. <laughs> so this is tough, basically. And what other rules are there? Yeah, you're trying to get points, so I'm I'm encouraging you to come every week because we're totaling up all the points you score over a month. So each Friday night, we'll save up your points, and whoever gets most points at the end of the month gets a prize. So like last month, Juggler won, Kel Surprise, and he got a 3D printed fry raising tray thing. I'm trying to think of better things to do rather than just, oh, here's some stickers, or here's some fish food. Um, but you know, it, it might be whatever whatever we can work out, something a bit fun and useful at least. So we've done lights in the past, we've done filters, I think we've done merch, jumpers, all that kind of stuff. I've just seen Rebecca's popping up, so the fish is now off limits. You're not allowed the fish. Um, because I ain't putting up with the amount of moaning that comes when the fish is gone. And we are now at 21.30, so I think we're ready to go. Is everyone ready to go? Well, tough if you aren't, because we're about to start. Go! Oh, no, I need to tell you what the link is, don't I? God, I'm an idiot sometimes. Uh, let me find the chat. Move that over there. Go! Uh, quite all right. You don't have to worry about being late. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Riverside, California for Nabokov, so let's stick that in while we're here.
Riverside CA. That'll be it, won't it? Yep, done. Zoom in on Canada to see where you were for Fish Tropic. So you're the only Canadian at the moment, so let's put you there. Uh, I don't know what is that near. It seems to be in the you're in the middle of nowhere. Near Bellinger. In between Pine River and McLennan Lake. Saskatchewan. So we can change it. I think I can edit it. So we've got a few in North America, a bunch of Brits, a European, and one Australian. Don't we have two Australians? Oh, is that what I was missing out? So we can add to that over the coming weeks. I just thought it'd be a bit of fun. Right, we have 27 people in there. I don't want to leave this running too long because that's when it tends to crash. Um, so we're going to get straight into it. Uh, oh, wrong button. Are we ready to go? Are we ready to go? Good luck, everyone. We've even got... Oh, I forgot to tell you what the specialist sub... Oh, no! The specialist subject is Ancient Greek Mythology. So if you win this week, you get to pick next week's specialist subject. A magazine from which country in 1988 first published a list of L number catfish? Was it an English magazine, an American, a German, or a Japanese? It was a German one. Well done, Juggler. Juggler, It, Me and False Inspector. They're the top three for every quiz this month so far, so this could be a close one. According to the legend, or the film, what were Jason and the Argonauts trying to find? I used to love this film when I was a kid. And no, it was an old film when I was a kid as well. I'm not that old. Was it the Golden Fleece, the Golden Gun, the Golden Goose, or the Golden Gavel? You can tell what I watch on my lunch break on a daily basis. The Golden Gavel is obviously from Bargain Hunt. It was the Golden Fleece. Someone stolen your fish. <laughs> oh no. Mountaineer Anna Wells climbed Scotland's 282 high highest mountains, or Monroes as they're called. And how many and how many days oh god, was I drunk when I wrote this question? Basically, a lady climbed a bunch of mountains in Scotland and set a record for doing it in the fastest time. Did she do it in 83 days, 17 days, 280 days, or 122 days? This was all done over one winter. We're only on question three. You can you can catch up, Silver. It was, uh, I like the three people who thought it was done over one winter in 200 and odd days. The Ryder Cup in golf is contested by how many teams? How many teams play in the Ryder Cup? Oh, Rebecca's talking about bringing in a ringer. Her sister's studying for a PhD in ancient Greek. <laughs> it's of course two. The Americans and the Europeans. Oh, tie for first. 
Golf has teams for the Ryder Cup. That's all. What family does the betta fish belong to? Is it the Cichlidae, the Chichlidae, the Osphoronemidae, the Characadidae, or the Loricaridae? Other pronunciations are available. Blue one, which <laughs> I won't try and murder again. What is the Latin name more commonly known as? Paracheriodon inisi. Or something similar. Is it Neon Tetra, Bosmani, Rainbow, Cherry Barb, or Harlequin Rasbora? Paracheriodon? Say it confidently, Graham. So you know that's what it sounds like. Paracheriodon in AC. It's the Neon Tetra. Take that, thank you. <laughs> Young snapper with the fish. <gasps> Which of these Greek gods was a titan? So, I learned a little bit about this today. Doing the quiz. This is one of the things I like doing about the quiz. I learned things I did not know. Which of these Greek gods was a titan? So I didn't know that there was like the the original gods, then the titans, and then the Greek gods, and all about the battles and stuff like that. that completely passed me by, went over my head. Never learned any of this in school. Um, but it's Cronus, it was the titan. Zeus's dad, yes. go, an easy one for you. How many letters are in JCBD's name? I mean Jean-Claude Van Damme, not his full actual name, which has many, many more letters. Just Jean-Claude Van Damme. There are 18 letters in Jean-Claude Van Damme. Question number nine. Carassius Ota Oratus. Carassius Oratus is more commonly known as a tiger barb, a Placostomus, a koi carp, or a goldfish. Gracias, Oratus. It's not the picture. There's a, a wee clue for you. Schoolfish! <laughs> What's with all the fish questions? I do like to throw in the odd fish question. What is the national animal of Scotland? Is it a dragon, a unicorn, a haggis, or a Highland Kew? Picture to throw you off the scent. like a Highland Coup. But no, it's a unicorn. One of only two fictional animals that are national animals. <laughs> uh, 
It's very confusing that we've got a fictional animal as a national animal, but it is, it is what it is. What is sodium theosulfate used for in the aquarium hobby? Is it to trigger breeding to treat ign illness? Oh, my spelling is awful. Dechlorinating water or fertilising plants? You can tell I was doing this at a rush. I checked this as well. No. Missed so many spelling mistakes. I was checking for accuracy rather than spelling and grammar, to be fair. It's to dechlorinate water. The juggler taking a little bit of a stretching lead. Who was the goddess of wisdom and warfare in Greek mythology? Was it Athena, Artemis, Hera, or Aphrodite? Five are all over 200. That's, that's going to be a high scoring game. What country is this then? Is it Italy, Scotland, Croatia, or Spain? to pick three other countries that didn't look anything like Croatia. So it's difficult when it's not near all the other countries that surround it. Anyway, which Greek hero fought the Hydra as one of his twelve labours? Spelt labours wrong as well. Or is that correct in this context? Anyway, was it Perseus, Theseus, Achilles or Heracles or Hercules? Heracles. No oh, stretching away again. Who was the god of the sea in Greek mythology? Poseidon, Hades, Zeus, or Apollo? Heracles wrong the whole way through. Am I pronouncing it wrong? How do they do, how do they pronounce it? American spelling for our cousins. Isn't there something about the way you spell labour in that context that is different to how we would spell labour? Or am I just made that up? I don't know. Separated by a common language, that's what they say, isn't it? Whose discography, discography includes albums named Fearless, Lover and Midnight? Is it ACDC, Metallica, Taylor Swift or The Sex Pistols? Can you tell I have a 12 year old daughter? <laughs> I think I'm, I'm now getting into Taylor Swift. I have to listen to it that often. Because it is, in fact, Taylor Swift. Well done, name. 
lots of people there probably not <laughs> not happy they got that one right <laughs> what was the name of the building Die Hard was set in was it the Empire State Building Takeshi's Castle Nakatomi Plaza or the Temple of Doom <laughs> Rebecca you're up <laughs> That was only after discussing this last night on Cam Street that I thought, ah, I've not had a die-hard question for a while. It is, of course, Nakatomi Plaza. Nine people got that one wrong. So maybe I should spread the vitriol about having not seen Die Hard a bit wider. Oh, come on, own up. Who didn't get that? Who was the first artist to top the Billboard Hot 100 chart across four decades? Was it Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, spelt that wrong as well, Madonna or Mariah Carey? Yeah, spelt Jackson wrong, sorry. It was Mariah Carey. Only two people got that one right. And one of them was Juggler, which does not bode well for everyone else. <laughs> Who is the Greek god of the sea in Greek mythology? Haven't we had this question? Have I put the same question twice? Next week, I promise to spend more than an hour doing the quiz. It's a question so good, I thought I'd ask it twice. Was it Zeus, Apollo, Hades, or still Poseidon? Two people still got that wrong. How? <laughs> okay. And the last question for everyone. NaCl is the chemical formula for what? Salt, ammonia, chlorine, or helium? Uh, <laughs> that was slower the second things. I thought it was a trick. Uh, I do do that though, don't I? Salt, not all salts, yes, to be quite correct. In third place, Shadow, name in second, but Kel Surprise Juggler takes up first place. Well done. With a massive 485 points. We must have had a few players tonight to get that many points. But a welcome return to the leaderboard from Shadow, name, well done to amass more than 400 points. The real reason for the map is so as we can find out where Juggler lives and go and nobble his internet for one of the quiz weeks. Let's give someone else a chance. <laughs> Let's have a look. 53% correct, so it wasn't too tough. Um, 16 questions correct by Juggler. That is a, a deserving winner. Uh, 14 for... Lori Carry Day and still must have just been the speed because there's a few people with fewer questions correct like Shadow only got 12 right but they've got third place he got those ones right quickly but congratulations everyone that was a good showing like even away down here Mal got 11 correct which is the same as the person who was in it's only one less than the person who got third place. Uh, Brian with seven, but he got them faster than Arnie got his ten. Uh, 
unlucky. Right, kicked you out and you got back in. Alright, so let's have a look at the questions. Who was the god of the sea? So that was the, was that the second one? Let's have a quick look. So one person got it right that time, more than got it right that time. I can't see who answered the questions. I can only go in to each of you, for instance. Let's pick on Crash. You got the God of the Sea, and the God of the Sea. Well done. I kind of want to know, but I don't want to sit going through everyone. A job for another day, maybe. Well done, everyone. One more week to go, so you've got a week to figure out where Juggler lives, cut his internet, and see if we can't get some extra, extra, extra points next week. At least I got the Taylor Swift one right. Well done, Brian. You did indeed. Uh, next week is Easter, so let's make the topic chocolate. Fair enough. We need some sci-fi questions one week. Well, I can always sprinkle in a couple every now and again. Fifty-nine percent missing the first three or four questions isn't bad. It isn't. You did well there. <laughs> I think I came last. Did you? <laughs> Hit the better quiz with one hundred and twenty-two points. Yep, the better quiz maker, not the better quiz quizzer. <laughs> uh, I, I, I won Andrew's quiz somehow. I think Juggler and I should share that mug, but. I showed the mug that I got as a prize. I think I posted it on one of my things. My son loves it, so he's claimed it as his own. He, he doesn't drink out of glasses, he only drinks out of mugs because they're cleaner, apparently. And he said, Oh, I like this one. This is a good, oh, it's a good weight. It's nice. So he, he's into it. He likes it. So I need to I need to <laughs> try harder and win another mug from you, Andrew, because it's a, it's a good one. Uh, did I get any Greek myth questions wrong? We have the power to find out. Correct, 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 correct. Oh, well, that's kind of a Greek myth question, the bit the Jason and the Argonauts one. You got that one wrong. Ah, so it shows the questions. So this is a wee bit behind the curtain here. I, I, I tend to find out what the specialist subject is and then I do a minimum of five questions on the specialist subject so I think I've done six this week and then I try and fit in some fishy ones so you get fish 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 and then I go into yeah, what else can I think of <laughs> and very much take inspiration from what's going on you didn't know the Ryder Cup one I thought that one would be a one of my easy ones. <laughs> There's a theory going round our living room that Juggler is actually your wife and has access to the questions before the quiz. <laughs> Damn it, we've been found out. No, my, my wife would not be joining the quiz. She has no interest in this whatsoever, and he, de he definitely sees, uh, he definitely is another person who lives far, far away from here. I find that mugs seem cleaner, and I prefer them. Maybe it's a neurodivergent thing. Maybe it is. I mean, is ceramics and glass at a molecular level? Do they, is one more porous than the other? But yeah, that's exactly what he says, his glasses don't get clean enough, whereas mugs do. So he only drinks out of mugs. 
I don't follow sport. My dad will be disappointed there. It's, it's his sport. I thought the Ryder Cup was like, famous enough to... You would know it was America against Europe. Should we do a wee check on the GoPro? Is it still working? It is indeed. And I was about to say, and it's not jumping, but it is. Why would it do that? Apparently there's a setting that makes it do that, which I changed. But it appears to still be doing it. Oh well. I have bought another capture card so as I can get my second camera, which is the same as this camera, pointing somewhere else. We could do like camera on camera inception and point at each other. But I thought that might have been a tall order in the four minutes before I started the stream to try and get that set up. Uh, da, da, da. Hopefully I can get my technical difficulties sorted for the next time so I can answer more of them. Yeah, we'll just keep coming back. That's what we do. So, beer number two is the same as beer number one. It's Luminous Nights, just in a different can. <laughs> Amazing Discus! They're not bad, are they? I do quite like the Discus. Wrong button. But they're all hiding at the other end of the tank for some reason. A wee bit of algae on those plants, I need to give them a good wipe. The water is super. I'm quite impressed with the water. Um, it's only an FX2 that's running this tank, and it is pretty good. Um, whether that is the Fluval UV clarifier thing that's doing the job for me, I don't get much algae. There's the odd spot every now and again, but less than I would expect to have to clean and less than I have to clean in my other tanks. But they seem to go through some mental stages, so there's there's quite a few stair-by corridors in there and they will not stop laying out. I don't know if you can see this. If I get out of the way, we'll focus on it. Eggs everywhere. And they will not stop laying eggs. Um and the discus and the angel love going round and hoovering up the eggs, as they will. And the discus pair that I had lay eggs on the leaves of that big sword there as well. So they don't half kick up a fuss when they're going round eating all the eggs. Which does stir up a whole load of crap. But it's quite good, I think, for clearing things because it gets cleared quite quickly. And the tank itself looks pretty good, so I'm quite happy with it. Uh, was it Blackbeard I've seen in that sword? I think it is a little bit. Um, there is, so there are, let me put it on again. The majority on that sword in the kind of top right of that isn't Blackbeard algae, it's just crud. But I think there are a few tufts on that leaf. Let me see if I can just give it a shugle. Like this one here, if you can see it, it's just dirt. Just needs a bit of cleaning. And then that happens. So I don't think that there's much black beard algae, but there is a little bit. Water stains used to put me right off glasses when I was a kid. I just didn't trust them. <laughs> uh, 
Is there a second quiz or can I dismiss the rest of the family? Do you want to, shall we have a go at another quiz? I'm all wet. Decide amongst yourselves now. Aquarium Adventures towel to clean my hand. Available at all good Aquarium Adventures websites. God, I'm turning into... What's his face? King's Aquariums. That's my CCTV rebooting itself for some reason, which is decided to do on a Friday night at 10 o'clock. So if you are a burglar in the area and you want to come and steal from me, this is the time to do it. Um. We have to wait till after. Well, we're after ten now, so we could be a way to get it. Uh, I did Purigen this week and did the water change. The tank is looking so much clearer after only a couple of days. Purigen is good stuff. Hope they're not that you plants you're selling. No, well, they are, but not that one. I do have that in stock, and I put in a new order for new plants, so everything should be getting restocked. I think it's Thursday that they turn up. So I should be fully restocked next Thursday. So if you want any, get in, get in quick, because they sold out fast last time. Uh, I was thinking of trying a high-tech CO2 tank. You should, Jeff. It's it's intimidating, is all I'll say. When I first started it, it's made out to be a lot more difficult than it really is. And, I mean, you have to be careful. You can overdose, but there are ways and means to make sure you don't. And all I would say is, only put CO2 on during the day, when you first start. There are people who say you can leave it on in low doses 24 hours a day, and yes, you can, but the stuff that... If you're putting CO2 into your tank when there's no light, it's not doing anything, so you're wasting it. Um, but just start small. Any amount of CO2 is beneficial, so you don't have to be going with a massive highlights, massive amounts of CO2 f at first. Get used to it, ease yourself into it, and... You see results. I mean, this Amazon sword in here, even when I put it in this tank, which was only a few weeks ago, it was nowhere near as big as this. And it's a root feeder rather than um, taken from the water column, mostly. But the CO2 is just making it... I find that lots of the stem plants do best with CO2, or you see the fastest growth with CO2. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Do another one, we've got time, right? Somebody think of a number between something. Uh, or, or, we could do like one of the random quizzes, for instance. We could do a St. Patrick's Day quiz, um, where we could all play, I guess. Name that logo. Multiplication facts. Who's that Disney character? What's that animal? Do a random one. Yeah, okay. I like logos. Name that animal. I'm not Irish. <laughs> well, okay. Logos or animals seem to be the perfect one. Let's let's choose one of those. I saw a question though. Let me see if I can find it. How long does your CO2 canister last? Also, is it the food grade CO2 canisters you need to buy? My CO2 canister 
No, bollocks. It's broken. No, that's just my headset. Um, if you go and look at one of my videos about setting it up, I've got a big old CO2 canister. I don't think it'll ever run out. Um, can you see that? No, probably not. Oh, I have the technology. I need a light. That's my CO2 canister, which is... You can't really tell, but it's it's big. Let's put it that way. It's maybe... I can't remember exactly what the size is, but... It's enormous. Um, I think I've filled it once. And used, used it for years. So, yeah, it'll go forever. If you get, like, a... If you can find somewhere that does like uh, pub CO2 canisters, because they restock pubs, they'll do that and even bigger sizes, and they'll last forever. They'll, I could run the fish room on that for ages. Um, get fire extinguishers are another good one that you can get. Soda streams don't last quite as long, but if you're only doing one tank, that'll last quite a while. Um, Welding shops, I've had them before. Um, they're all good places to go. And to be fair, the CO2 canister doesn't really matter. If you can find a, an easy place to get refills or a big enough one that you don't need to worry about refills, that's fine. Don't cheap out on the valves. That's the main thing, or my main advice would be... Um, <laughs> there's lots of scary stories about things called end-of-tank dump, or EOTD, you might see it written as, where... If a canister gets low, it can trigger it to just dump out the last 5% all in one go, and that's when you can have problems. Um, but So get a really good, specific for the aquarium hobby, valve. Um, and that's the big valve with the big... What's the word I'm looking for? With the dials on it, that's important. And then also where your bubble counter is, you normally get a needle valve either just before or just after. Before, obviously, Graham. No. Get a decent one of them, because that's the fine control of how much CO2 you're actually going to let in. So the big valve uh, kind of gets you roughly there, and then the needle valve controls it perfectly. They are the bits to spend the money on. The rest of it, your solenoids, uh, CO2 canisters themselves, all that kind of stuff, they're all much of a muchness. Uh, spend the money on the valves would be my bit of advice. Right, we're going to try something, are we? Bingo! I don't know how to do bingo, Andrew. Let's start with logos. So, 24 questions. Uh, host. I guess I have to host it. No, oh, I'm not allowed to play. I'll play in real time because it goes a bit, there's a bit of a delay, so I shouldn't be influencing anything. Uh, allow late joining, yep, ready to go, host now, copy link, there you go. Uh, two stage regulator and a solenoid, yes, very much so. Regulators! CO2 poisoning it is nasty. I, I have a video on my channel of me poisoning my discus tank with CO2. My stupid mistake was I didn't realise that the drop checkers that you use to measure, basically it's measuring pH I think, but the measure how much CO2 is in the aquarium, they run like two to four hours behind. So they tell you how much CO2 was in your tank hours ago, and I was adding too much. And it wasn't until hours later that I came down and said, why are all my fish gasping at the surface? And the, sea, the drop checker says, everything's fine. Hmm, I wonder what the problem could be. 
So I was just very lucky that I happened to have my tank in my living room and saw it all play out in real time. So there you go, that's the link if you want to play. We've got 18 of you in there so far. Hoof hearted, release the fish immediately. By the way, if you want to go past 11pm tonight, cold water's on a different time at the moment because of clock differences. So when you normally finish at 11, he's also finishing. Or should we do some kind of raid? And I'll go over and say, hello. I don't know if I can go past 11. I'm in absolute bits. I'm putting on a brave face, but my back is killing me. I have this kind of thoracic joint thing happening and oh. The last half hour of the stream is going to be me moaning about all my ailments. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. If I... Could I join by putting it in there? Oh, I could play. get to choose. I'll, I'll be a, an arctic hare. Right, so I'll take this one away so as I can play it without you being able to see. And then could I do this every week? Have I been missing a trick? Am I truly such an idiot? Ah, there, there's me. Right, are we ready? Drum roll. Let's go. Ooh, what logo is this? Microsoft Edge, Apple, Google Chrome, or Firefox. Oh, everyone got that one right. Fifth place. God, that's an embarrassment for someone in my line of work. at that one. I think I know what it is, but that's fun, this. Is this why you all come back every week? <laughs> Google Classroom? Yay, I got that one. Fifth place again. I want to get a sub two second answer. I've never seen, I've never done one of them. I'm always impressed when one of you guys gets that. went with Quizlet because it's a Q and no other reason. I'm consistent. Fourth this time. suspicious about my children wanting to have on their phone. I do not have answers on my third screen. <laughs> I've literally not seen the answers. I 
this one. Used to have Snapchat, I guess that was. Now all the youths use it, they do, don't they? Fourth. No idea. I'm gonna go with cowboys because it's a shoehorn. Although Colts is a shoehorn, that's not the word. Horseshoe. Colts is a horse as well, isn't it? Bronco's a horse. Ugh, no idea. <coughs> Got that one wrong. Does he send himself a mug? I'll send myself some stickers. <laughs> I've got under two seconds on that one. That was my goal. Still in the top five. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> ah, it's not it's X. It's not Twitter. updating. One point one seconds there. Whew. It's hard this. Oh, this means that we could do the like some of the other battle ones where we don't all have to watch me sit watch you play. I could play at the same time. I never thought of these things. Oh, I was busy talking. I forgot to click the button. <laughs> Right, first place. Oh, almost under a second. I think that was close to a second as well. I wonder if I can get under a second. Eight. I beat Juggler as well. Woo! <laughs> oh, I couldn't find it. It's too slow. Clicking all over the place. God, I'm. I'm too invested in this. I'm not a good quizzer. I'm about to shout at myself for this being unfair, and it's my quiz. That's the best thing about the Aquarium Daily Quiz, is I'm not the quiz master, so I get to moan and say, this is so unfair. A touchscreen computer, yeah, that might help. I'd probably break it. Golden Archies. I'm sure this has got to be a 25 out of 25. Oh, 
21. 12th place on that one. Oh dear. Just over a second, then it was 12th place. Fruit Co. Yeah, it's definitely Fruit Co. For anyone that doesn't know, that's clearly the Microsoft logo. <laughs> Third place. And still a ways away. Uh, God. So slow. <laughs> this is so frustrating. Animals next. Yeah. That's the GoPro poking for sure. Question 16 of 24. Oh, there's plenty of time. Uh, where is I almost clicked Snapchat because it began with an S. I was expecting some more obscure logos, but I've managed to get all of these ones so far. Albeit quite slowly. the Windows logo, which is different. That made me that made me hesitate. And I only got second place on that one. I need one of these top guys to get one wrong. on in my brain when I see things I go I know what it is and then I, I can sit back and congratulate myself and then my brain goes so click the button then oh 50-50 on that one Jordan is Michael Jordan as in the basketball player with his own brand of sneakers as they say like air jordans yeah heard the kids talk about air jordans was faster than that. Got one of the old school beers now. Graham, there's a quiz going on. Concentrate. If I 
don't get that one first. Someone's cheating. The, have you seen the film about Jordan? Or Nike and Jordan? That was quite good, the one with... Uh, not Matt Damon, the other one. this if you just do the say what you see thing immediately click rings yeah there's a film about it's all about Nike signing Michael Jordan because Nike were a running company rather than a sports company it's quite it's quite a good watch it talks about how Michael Jordan is the man who he is uh, because of his mum basically My bartending skills have got no better. I'm like a consistent fourth to sixth. Congratulations, let me in it. <laughs> let me in it, me. With 536 points. That's pretty good. One question wrong. Did I get one question wrong as well? What one did I get wrong? Oh yeah, that stupid one. Did, did you get the same one as me wrong? Yep. Still just tackle. You beat me and you got two wrong. Wow, you must have been fast. That was a high score. Th so is this what I should be aiming at? The 75% correct. Ben Affleck, that's what I was aiming for. Yeah. It does have Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. It does. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that, they confused me being in the same film more than once. Nike have been in the news today, have they? What have they been up to? What for the England kit? Yeah, it must have been a slow news day. So apparently they've done the St George's Cross. Isn't white and red. We're England. Etc, etc. If this is what you mean. I mean, you've really got to have bigger problems if that's the number one thing you're worried about. Diddies, that's all I can see. <laughs> Beat me by five points. <laughs> I'm fuming. Ah, <laughs> uh, Stevie P said the architects because of pencils. Yeah. I've not had an Apple phone for, I think I had an iPhone 3, that was the last time I had one of them, that was probably the same logo, yeah, Nike changed the England flag, oh, boo hoo. The 
the horseshoe one. Yep, uh, that's the one I got wrong. Right, we said animals, didn't we? Um, have we got any more? Um, I've just noticed. Aquariums, animals and me. Nelson City, New Zealand. Any more um, to add to the map? I noticed some earlier that I missed. So before we do the last quiz of the evening. What was that? Nelson City. Uh, New Zealand. There we go. Stick them in and we'll, we'll add them in. Yeah, I've, I've seen it over Facebook and stuff today, the thing about the, the, the cross saying, oh, it's a travesty, it's a bit like when the Americans say, oh, you, there's the flag code, is it, you call it, where you're not allowed to put anything on flags, or you're not allowed to put the flag on anything, and then the same people that say that are wearing, like, stars and stripes suits and stuff, and you're like, oh, really? Um, but yeah, there's been loads of people giving it, no, we can't have this, this is... St George's Cross is sacred, it has to be a white background and a red um, cross. But many times it's been changed to different colours and nobody ever moaned. It's just because this one looks vaguely like it might be a pride flag. Like, no, we can't be associated with that, no. So I, I really couldn't care less. Lisa's in Dublin. There we go, we've not got any Irish people in yet, have we? For those of you who are new joining, um, did that update? What we're trying to do is have... I put it in Dublin, didn't I? There we go. We're trying to... We. I. I'm trying to get a bit of a, a map of where all my livestream viewers are based. So if you let me know where you are in the world. So we've got still got one single Canadian. <laughs> uh, we've got a few in the US. Very few Nigerians. And a few Australians. Or one Australian and one New Zealander. New Zealander? Is that it? So let me know where you are and we'll stick you in. Imagine if they changed the stars and stripes and coloured it in rainbow. Yes, I imagine people would explode. And that's what it is. It's it's been changed many times before. It's only because it's vaguely rainbowish. Everyone's like, nope, this is it. You've, that's you've crossed this line. As a Scotsman, I don't care, and I'm glad everyone that sports England is upset about it. As Brian says, yes, if they if they put on a rainbow coloured line rampant, I think that'd be quite funny actually, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah. When it's not you, you're like, yeah, whatever. Hans, I've already done you you've got the entirety of Sweden hands. So should I delete this one? No. Yep. No. I need to change the Sweden one, don't I? Uh, how did I do that? Sweden, gone. Add a place. What did you say? Bisk. Is that how we say it? Bisk. B y s. Bisky. Oh, you're a bit further north. Is that Arctic Circle territory? You're like a level with Iceland. I learned an interesting fact today about Iceland. Um, Greenland is both north, south, east and west of Iceland. There you go. There's a city called Batman in Turkey. See if you can send some adverts to Turkey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the night kit's a bit of a shambles. It looks good from the front, but the flag isn't a flag, and the price is... Well, the price is... Yeah, I feel for you in that. 
It's been a long time since I've tried to buy a football shirt, but yeah, it gets ridiculous. Ridic ridiculous. Um, I don't know. I used to play for a golf team when back in my youth. Um, so it's, it's not not quite as manly as uh, playing for a football team, but I played for a golf team. So I was the captain of my junior golf team. And the team always had to have matching jumpers or matching cardigans or whatever, so you'd all play in a team kit, basically. And the year I got given the captaincy of the junior golf team, they they turned up with the team jumpers. And <laughs> they, they told us in advance, said, right, everyone, turn up at the clubhouse tonight. We're giving you your team jumpers out. Uh, just to let you know, so you've got a bit of warning, the colour we've gone with this year is Cerise. So we were all at what would I have been? 14? Something like that? 15? I've never heard of Cerise. I don't know what Cerise is. I need to see if I can find a picture of this. For those who don't know, Cerise is pink. So, a bunch of 15, 16, 17 year old boys wearing pink jumpers to play golf. Never has my proudest moment as team captain been so unequivocally crushed by having to wear a pink fucking jumper. <sighs> it was it was fun anyway. Newtown or Northern Ireland. Okay. No, spell it Graham. Newtown or Newtown Arts? Done. Uh, I'm a uh, McKinnon also. Okay, I don't know what that means. Sorry, <laughs> I'm still waiting for Scotland to add the unicorn to shut that. Be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Stephen from Kendall in Cumbria, home of mint cake. You must love it when people say that. Uh, Whitehaven for Kyle. Where are all my uh, Austrian and Italian viewers? <laughs> uh, Oosterhut. Might be the first Netherlands in the Pink was trending in the 80s. Well, it sucks for me because it was the 90s when <laughs> I wanted to wear it. Yeah, it's definitely in the 90s. Right. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's have a look at the map now as we do. We've got a fair few places represented now in, in Europe, two, if you don't count the UK and Ireland. Uh, we've got a few Canadians, uh, Americans and Australians and New Zealanders. So, my job this week is to convince some Japanese people to turn up on stream. In fact, that's my challenge to you. Can you get someone from a country that currently isn't represented on the map to turn up next week? So if you're on any Facebook groups... Um, worldwide fish keeping or something like that say come along to this stream because we want to put a map on China that would be a tough one wouldn't it ah my dad was from Scotland he's a McKinnon ah but I was born in Nelson City New Zealand I see I get you right uh, so we did name the logo. We enjoyed that. Oh, oh, it's crashed. It's kicked me out. Let's sign back in again. We were going to do animals, weren't we? So shall we do 
name that animal or what's that oh, 139 questions let's do name that animal sure we do it as a battle as a race let's do it as classic we might work on that next time random question order allow you late joining host the hosting thing copy that stick it in there So as I can see, I think I'll be. What should we go with this time? I'll try as try as a walrus. I was going to visit Japan. Maybe I'd love to visit Japan. Japan and. South Korea, I quite fancy going to both those places. Invite Riot, well yeah, why not? They are majorly enthusiastic about their fishies, they do. Make a short asking for places on the map for subscribers that probably don't watch the live streams. Where are you, Lisa, when I need ideas to make videos? That's a good idea. I like that. <laughs> someone stole my sheep for a second. <laughs> oh, have I stolen so is someone normally the walrus and I haven't noticed? Ha ha! Tough shit. Oh, sorry. My potty mouth. So there's 30 questions on this one, so we might have to race through this one. We've got 15 minutes left. I don't think my back's going to hold up for any longer than that. So I will try and run the stream at the same time as playing in the, the game. So if you've got any questions, get them in now. Otherwise, other news going on. We've obviously got videos you can go and watch. I'd love it if you went and watched them. We've got... Plants are arriving next week, so make sure you keep an eye on that. I'll probably do another unboxing video so you can see the quality of the plants that come through. And thanks, Elisa. I'll probably do a couple of shorts this week, see if we can't get a few more people to turn into the <laughs> turn into the live stream. <laughs> That's exactly why I picked the walrus. That was going through my head as I picked the walrus. Thank you, Scott. I am the walrus, Cuckoo Cuckoo. Right, are we ready to go? How many people are actually here? Oh, nah, the numbers have dwindled. I don't think quizzing is quite as popular as it is with those of us that like quizzes. Uh, okay. Are we ready to go? I think we're ready to go. Let's go. Good luck, everyone. Right, speed. Definitely a duck, yep. Duck. All day long. <laughs> Rebecca's upset. It's not a species level. Don't want a generic duck. I want to know which kind of duck it is. You never know, some of them might be. Oh, we're rattling through these ones. This is this is going to be all about speed. Still got tackles, got some kind of like uber senses. Oh, I had to, I had to think about that one for a second. So this, this is a good idea, so if you want to make a quiz for us all to play, you can do so. 
So I would go and crack on, make yourself a Blue Kit account, make your own quiz, send me a link to say, I've, I've designed a quiz for next week, and we'll give it a bash. So Rebecca, we can do it to genus level, if you want. It's a coo! No, it's a cow. A coo has horns. Not even in the top five. So if you are a frustrated quiz maker, have a bash and we can all have a go. It's a two can. Sorry. Skins Arno, the King DIYs copied my team video ideas. To be fair, I'm sure I copied someone else. I don't think I did actually, that was Callum's suggestion, maybe he was copying someone, I don't know. Oh, what the hell is that? I need to make my screen bigger. Miles back. I may have to just guess some. <laughs> People will know their mountain chickens from their Amar Tigers. Remaining in the top five, I'll take that. It takes me too long to read the questions. Never know why you always keep saying that. This is definitely biased towards the faster readers. And I don't know why I'm reading the questions, because it's clearly a picture. <laughs> don't read the question great, right? This time, no question. Almost clicks one. Oh, what an idea! Oh no, I clicked Pelican. Good, phew. I just clicked it very slowly. Breaking into that top five. Not fast enough. Oh, he says as he turns up at fifth. So slow. I think I need a more of a, a skills based quiz rather than a speed based quiz. I'm not the fastest. I have the reaction times of a 46 year old man. Because I am a 46 year old man. Penny gig. Delicious. Who said octopus? Oh, I got that one second place. Wow. And second again. God, I thought that was ridiculously fast. It's really just as a test of reflexes at this point, isn't it? It's 
harder when the right answer's the last one you read. It's just a test of speed there. Right, you can do this. It's like actual gaming. Getting through them at a rate of knots, though. Everyone's fast. And it's like Formula One differences in the timings. Oh! I right clicked. <laughs> I right clicked instead of left clicked. I got 15th place. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> oh, what is it? Tiger? Isn't a panther a jaguar anyway? Yeah, I thought panthers and jaguars were the same thing. That's what that's what made me hesitate for a second. Oh, I almost clicked Nemo. Oh, that was embarrassing. Yeah, Scott, I, I almost clicked Nemo. <laughs> It gave you Nemo was correct. Oh, what? I wonder if you could just click anything and get it right. I'm clinging on to fifth place here. What? Oh, I had to look at that. Far too hard. Ladybug. It's a ladybird, surely. Moose. I saw a moose once. They're a hell of a lot bigger than you think they are. Unless you do have seen a moose. I've chosen Trash Panda to see if it gives me it. Badum Tish, did the moose make my spoon look small? <laughs> oh, it gave me an incorrect on Trash Panda. What? So you allowed Nemo, but not Trash Panda. Congratulations, Taco, with your 
universal soldier like reflexes that managed to get you. I don't know how you did it. Well done. <laughs> that was fun. You got one wrong, Will. Which one did you get wrong? Oh, you didn't know what animal that was. Well, no, I didn't ask you. What was that one? Did you get Trash Panda wrong as well? Oh, I didn't ask us some of the questions for some reason. You also got Trash Panda wrong. So, if I had got that one right, uh, it still wouldn't have won. No. Well done, it's me, and I tried again for your 100% record. That's... And who farted. And Stevie P. Stevie P! 100% correct. Well. Juggler, 100% correct. I know nothing. Knows everything. With 100% correct. Uh, Lori Gary Day. Didn't know what a Jaguar was, but that's fair. I think a jaguar and a panda is the same thing. I <laughs> didn't know what a clownfish was either. Oh, Well done, everyone. Ah, that was a bit of fun, wasn't it? Big face. <laughs> My finger spazzed out. I hate it when your finger spazzes out. Yeah. Uh, Taco's got those young reflexes on account of being 12. Is that what it is? <laughs> Stranded Taco, I pressed Trasband and still came first. Yeah, it was it was my eyes as well. I, I'm with you by that one, Stevie P. It was a few of the, the lady bird one, especially. I was a bit like, I don't see an animal. What, what are we looking at? And then had to look at the actual answers and go, oh, what one could it be? Oh, okay. <laughs> Scott would have got 100%, but marked you down for Trash Panda. I, I, I thought that was almost a common name for them, that people called them Trash Pandas. I have a friend that lives in Canada, and he has like a one of those... Wildlife cans, and it's always it even. I think he even calls it the trash panda cam. Ah, well, it was fun anyway. Right, well, we've reached that time. I'm surprised with myself that I've made it to 11 o'clock. The beers have helped, I'm not going to lie. But unless anyone has any specific questions for me, I will let you all go because I've kept you here talking nonsense for a good couple of hours. Um, if you want to let me know where you're watching from, you can send me an email. You can do that by... Move that out of the way because I can't see anything. You can just say, hey, I live in Bangladesh. Don't just say that. I actually live there, or I'm going to make you move. Um, you could also send me an email and say, you know how I won a prize last week that you've still not sent me? That would be a helpful reminder. Um, but other than that, I would love it if you would go and watch one of my videos. Go and spread the word, send me some ideas, and most of all, join my Discord server, because there's a load of lovely people in there ready and waiting to enjoy your pictures give you some advice if you have some problems or just generally hang out but other than that I'll say night night everyone <laughs> watching from my living room I can't I can't get that specific but thank you I'll see you next week if I don't see you through the week I'll see you through the window <sighs> what a terrible thing to say bye
It was all a ruse just to see who would hang around. <laughs> Anyone still here? No. Okay, so we try it again with music. Because I had accidentally turned off all the music. Try again. Goodbye! Apparently there's still 17 people watching this. 16? 15? <laughs> I don't know whether it's drug induced from all the painkillers that I've had. But I just thought I'd come and say goodbye one more time. Bye!